Now, I'll show you computer models short term. I'll tell you none of the models had a good handle on anything that happened today, so take this with a grain of salt. But it does show we still have some activity possible until about 10 o'clock tonight, and then everything really starts to wind down. Just some garden variety showers and maybe a rumble of thunder through midnight. And then tomorrow, we do get an early start on at least the rain portion. This stuff's going to be pretty weak at 8 a.m., but do plan on there being some showers to get started tomorrow. So the bottom line tonight is we at least have chances of uh, seeing thunderstorms through sunset. They're going to be isolated. The strongest will most likely be in the south zone, places that did not get hit earlier, and gusty winds up to 60 miles per hour. Always a threat, but downpours, it's not going to take much to cause problems, especially in areas that have already seen that flood prone, uh, flood prone spots. High pressure finally relenting out into the Atlantic. That allows the pattern change. That front can finally move. We get more of a flow out of the northwest. We get some drier air as that Gulf moisture gets cut off, and it could go be a problem for somebody else on the east coast except for us uh, for the uh, several days going into the weekend. Temperatures reflecting that 83 tomorrow still have a significant heat index over that air temperature as the humidity is going to be with us. But Thursday is a different story. 79 feeling like 81 and then that air really dries out as we go into the holiday weekend. 76 that's a high temperature on Friday with low humidity and Saturday very similar conditions as we head into the weekend. So once that humidity drops Thursday night, we'll start noticing a difference Friday when we step out the door in the morning. That's going to be the big dry air and it does stay with us through Saturday and Sunday. Now if you're celebrating the 4th on the 5th on Monday, be aware that that humidity is coming back as we uh, close out a three day weekend for a lot of us. 71 tonight again, evening thunderstorms that we'll be monitoring 83 tomorrow and temperatures stay in the 70s until they come back there on the 4th of July to 82. So guys, the weekend looks fantastic Finally. if we can get there. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> okay, Ben, thank you.